Hi, welcome to a Siemens NX video tutorial. I want to do that turbine exhaust exercise in Siemens NX. I had to use a different tool because the corresponding tool to multi-section surface didn't work quite well. So let's have fun with Siemens NX. First, I want to create some planes, not with an angle, but at a distance from this one, maybe the first one 300, apply the next one 320, apply another one at 680, apply and one at 700. apply and then I need one at an angle and the planar reference would be this plane axis would be that one and the angle should be minus 10 degrees and okay now I can start with my first sketch on that plane right here so go for a sketch on that plane reverse the normal and OK. I need two circles, one with diameter 100, one with diameter about 24. I will need two lines, so I will go for this tool like that make it for construction only like this and that one should be aligned with that plane right here so go for the plane try to select it yes and select this one and make them collinear okay now that point should be on that line and this point should be on that line and the distance should be about 205 just close that and make this a little bit longer same here draw it up a little bit and that distance should be 375 now let's trim here as well I need a line which is tangent to both circles. So just draw a line like this and then create the constraints. Tangent and tangent. Trim once more. So I want to keep on this side and I want to keep that one. Still one constraint is missing. Let's see which one. None. Can I move that circle? No. Can I move this one? No. So let's take a look at our sketch tool here, Relations Browser. Or make 
week that display switch auto dimension oh there is one there's some oh there's a line I didn't notice so do just delete it okay great finish that sketch now let's make an extrude with this curve so go for maybe feature curves like this and make it until selected and until this one and okay and I could hide that sketch right now next sketch will be on this plane again reverse normal okay this will be a circle and the diameter might be seven three five and I need some lines to trim so start here go there go up here make them both for construction only trim trim and trim and this one should be aligned with that plane collinear sketch is full constraint finish that sketch make another extrude and make it with that line and make it until selected and select this plane and confirm nice next I need two splines 3D splines to so go for curve, go for studio spline, and degree two will do through points. Yes, and the first point should be that end point, start point, edge of extrude. Yes, make it G1 continuity, and the second point would be here go to the end and select the end point edge of extrude like this and go for g1 but it should be constrained to a plane to that 10 degree plane this one and apply same up here maybe start here from end point of this one start point edge of extrude g1 continuity and go to this edge and this one end point yes again g1 continuity and the support plane should be this one and okay now I want to do to extrude surfaces that's necessary in an X so another extrude now with the feature curve yes with this one direction the other way around like this and apply and for this one direction is okay and confirm now let's hide the sketches and the curves so if you want to go for through curve mesh the resulting surface is not as good as in Kadir so I went for full surface 
this tool gives me a better, better result. So select fill surface, go for this edge, that one, this one, and tangent curves. I'll go for feature curves. That doesn't work. So go for tangent curves and okay. So that's okay, and confirm. Now let's zoom this one to that one and this one. Okay, hide that surface and this surface. And let's mirror this one. So go for home, more mirror geometry. I want to mirror this one with that plane. Okay. Now sue those two. There you go. This one and that one and okay then go for a circular pattern home more pattern geometry circular one yes i want to pattern this object the vector would be the y-axis and i need 18 count and span 360 degrees and okay now let's sue those. Go for surface, sue. Select the first one that would be the first sue, this one. And all the other ones like that. And confirm. Now for the cone. Let's hide that surface and go for another sketch on the Y set plane. Okay. And this might be a sketch which looks something like that. Go with an arc, go with another arc and go straight like this and I don't want to see those auto dimensions so I will turn them off okay and let's add some dimensions from this one to that one this should be 160 the total length should be only 800 so that might be a problem so I will do with this one at the moment that angle should be maybe 22 this radius should be 135 and that one might be 190 now if I change this one to 805 yeah that's what I suspected so we'll undo and first add that dimension which might be 33 now let's delete this one and yep and move it over here like this 
add a constraint like that and now move this a little bit back and give it a dimension in that direction and this should be 805 close this one finish that sketch now let's make a revolve with that sketch and the axis would be the y-axis 360 degrees and okay let's show our first surface and maybe hide all the sketches and I'm done so I hope you enjoyed this one if you did oh sorry that's I don't want a solid I want a sheet and now I'm done so hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscription over, over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one.